many of us forget this. We think, okay, when we talk about kindness, it means money. So I took out 20 pounds and I put it in the box. I was kind. That's not the definition of kindness. That's a charity, yes, if you did it with the correct intention, alhamdulillah. But kindness extends way beyond that, my brothers and sisters. And charity begins at home. And this is why the Prophet Muhammad wasallam extends it further when he says the best from amongst you. He uses the same wording and he uses a different category of people. So he says, خَيْرُكُمْ خَيْرُكُمْ لِأَهْلِهِ The best from amongst you, which means the best of people, are those who are best to their family members. You know the term Ahl? It starts off with a spouse and everyone else in the family. Now one might say, well there's a contradiction here. In one narration he says the best from among you are those who benefit the others the most. And another he says the best from among you are those who are best to their family members. No contradiction. Your family members are people. They are the closest people to you. You are going to benefit them to start with and then everybody else. What's the point of me benefiting the rest of the world but when I come home we have this cat and mouse relationship with our own children as you knock the door or as they hear you open the door or as they hear your car just come into the drive if you have a drive or on the road and everyone is helter skelter hidden and gone. Subhanallah. Why? Because dad is in. That's okay, but nowadays, because mum is in. Woo! Subhanallah, may Allah forgive us. I hope that's not the case. But you know, there's equality in the sense that nowadays we've got to speak about both. Subhanallah. May Allah help us all, mothers or fathers, no matter who. But may Allah make us from among those who can be kind to those we live with, who can start the trend of being good to our family members. Wallahi, if you want to be the best of people, it has to start at home.